New details tonight on a local fire chief charged with using taxpayer money to buy clothes for himself and his girlfriend. And we've been tracking the story now since last year. Today, the Board of Selectmen in Dighton held a meeting to discuss what to do next about the chief currently on suspension. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Kleiner joins us live with more from the mobile newsroom. Mike and Shannon, not a lot being said publicly at this time, but our understanding is that the board wanted to get together today to discuss where things are now. The Dighton Board of Selectmen meeting behind closed doors Thursday to discuss the town's fire department. More specifically, Chairman Dean Cronin told Eyewitness News the employment of now suspended fire chief Anton Roderick. Cronin said he and his colleagues wanted to weigh certain pros and cons and discuss their options. In an earlier written response to Eyewitness News, the board wrote its executive session would involve, quote, potential litigation it couldn't publicly discuss. Roderick was suspended without pay in November after he was charged with making false claims to a public employer, larceny under $250, and misleading police. The chiefs accused of misusing funds and falsifying department invoices for women's clothing, like a jacket, a tube top like compression shirt, and athletic capri pants, allegedly whiting out and altering forms. According to a state police report, Roderick's girlfriend said he gave her the pants, but the chief insisted the items were his and that they helped with pain while running. A trooper wrote Roderick even tried them on to show they fit. According to the report, the chief said he altered one form out of embarrassment but denied changing any others. We went to Roderick's home today. Our knocks went unanswered. The board chair also told us today neither Roderick nor his attorney showed up to a disciplinary hearing on Monday. That same chair says he expects an announcement, a public one, on all of this over the next couple of weeks. Live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Plunder, Eyewitness News.